Oh, Alright, welcome to, um, what is this, C++ exercise number 8. Okay, uh, this is sort of a big pro uh, problem, but it's, um, a bigger program, uh, definitely a lot bigger than, uh, I've put on here before. The problem is, write a function that calculates the elapsed time in minutes between a start time and end time expressed as integers on a 24-hour clock. 8.30 is 20.30, so it's military time. You need to deal only with end times occurring later on the same day as the start time. So that's the first program, so go ahead and uh, go write that. After you've completed that and you know how to do it, then you do this. Then write another function that uses your previous function to calculate the speed, kilometers per hour, one must average to reach a certain destination by a designated time. Inputs include same day departure and arrival times and the distance of your destination in miles. So uh, go pause it, go try it yourself, and um, here we go. Um, basically I wrote out the program already because it's pretty long and I'm just gonna go through what I have. So. <coughs> We have the include input output stream void instructions. Now, basically, this is just uh, the instructions for uh, what we're expecting in the program. It's going to tell the user basically what to do. I'll get to that in a second when it's uh, called in the main um, float time calculator. This is basically what's going to um, do all of the math in it. And I have uh, five different arguments: uh, three floats and two character arguments. We'll get to that later. Uh, using namespace, int main, okay, I call the instructions, right, instructions, so I'm calling the instruction function, which is down here, and it's basically going to call this function void, um, because there's no return value, and it's just going to say all this crap, which isn't really important right now, um, this is just for the user, and then after that's done, it's going to come back, it's going to come back to here, it's going to declare, uh, departure time, arrival time, mile distance. And the characters are going to be time of day 1 and time of day 2. That's basically just going to signify uh, whether it's AM or PM. Which, since it's military time, it obviously matters between 8.30 and uh, 8.30 AM and what, 16.30 PM. Or, well, you wouldn't say that. It's just 8.30 or 16.30. Um, but that's the difference between 8.30 a.m. and 8.30 p.m. So, um, <coughs> basically we're going to get all the, the variables from the user. We're going to input uh, the departure time right here. Then I have a do while loop going uh, right here. Um, all of this. So it's going to say now enter the time of day the departure time occurred. Now enter the time of day the departure time occurred. Okay, yeah, I was just thinking about it. Um, 1 equals AM, 2 equals PM, so you're going to enter 1 or 2. This is why I have the do while loop, because if they don't enter, if time of day 1, which is just the first one, is not equal to 1 and not equal to 2, um, it's going to say that's not one of the choices, moron. Try again. And then it's basically the, that's the if statement, and then the loop. It's basically going to keep looping until they enter one or two, which is the only choices. So, And then if they get past that one, it's going to go to enter the estimated arrival time, which is you know, the end one, the end time, and then another do while loop of the same thing. It's exactly the same thing, just with uh, the arrival time as asking if it's AM or PM. So that should be pretty uh, understanding. If you can do the first one, you can do the second one. And then... Uh, enter the distance of the trip in miles and then you get that and then I'm basically calling the function uh, time calculator and these are the arguments departure time arrival time mile distance time of day and time of day two and then it just says passes all the arguments to the time calc function and then the system pause return zero uh, just I'm putting those at the end because everything else is going to be done in this and then it's basically the program's going to be over so we'll go to the where we called it and I wrote it out so you can see it. it says float time calc float A float B float C car D and car E I think that's how you say it 
um, stands for character, but um, departure time equals A, arrival time is B, trip and distance, uh, trip distance in miles is C, time of day 1 is D, and time of day 2 is E. So 